Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about using the quadratic formula to find um, solutions to quadratic equations. And remember a quadratic equation is an equation that's of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. Um, I guess I should put a couple more stipulations here. Um, we want the a to not be equal to zero. Um, and then they're all real numbers other than that. Okay, So if a is zero, it's not a quadratic equation anymore. But the formula we use is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Um, and again, whatever number's in front of x squared, that's our a value. Whatever number in front of x is, that's our b value. And then whatever number hanging out, that's going to be our c value. So in this case, um, we're going to solve x squared minus 5x minus 6. And you could probably factor this out without too much trouble, but Again, we're just trying to point out, in this case, how to use the uh, quadratic formula. Okay, so <clears throat> a is the number in front of whatever x squared is, so there's a 1. It's not written, but hey, I, I put it back in there. <clears throat> the b value, in this case, is negative 5, and the c value is negative 6. <clears throat> okay, so it says our solutions are x equals negative b. b, in this case, again, is negative 5. I'll get plus or minus the square root of b squared. So again, that's negative 5 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 6. And that's all being divided by 2 times a, which in this case is 1. <clears throat> so now it's a matter of just kind of simplifying all of this down. So a negative and a negative make a positive plus or minus the square root. So negative 5 squared is 25. And then I'll have negative 4 times 1, which is negative 4 times negative 6. That'll be positive 24, all over 2. <clears throat> so we keep simplifying. It says we get 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 plus 24, which is 49, divided by 2. And at this point, we can take the square root of 49, and we're going to get two different equations here now that we have to solve. We're going to have to get the number 5 plus the square root of 49, which is 7, over 2. Well, 5 and 7 is 12 over 2, and it says one of our solutions will be the value 6. <clears throat> so again, I took 5 plus the square root of 49, which is 5 plus 7 divided by 2. That'll be one of my solutions. The other solution we'll get is when we use 5 minus the square root of 49. Well, the square root of 49, again, is 7 over 2. And in this case, I'll get negative 2 over 2, or negative 1 is my answer. <clears throat> and I think if you had factored this out at the very beginning, you probably would have gotten you know, um, those exact values anyway, right? I mean, if you'd factored this, we could use x uh, minus 6, x plus 1. If we set each piece equal to 0, one solution would be x equals 6, and the other solution would be x equals negative 1. OK, so again, the quadratic formula is long. Um, you know, so if you can factor something, factor something. But you know, not everything factors real easily. So suppose we wanted to solve 2x squared minus 4x plus 7 equals 0. So in this case, I don't think it's going to be something that factors real easily. OK, so again, my a value in this case, it's whatever's in front of x squared. So that's going to be 2. The b value in this case will be negative 4. And the c value in this case will be positive 7. So it says my solutions, again, I get x equals so it says we get negative b, so I'll get negative negative 4, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so negative 4 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is 7. Okay, And then on the bottom, I have 2 times a, which again is 2. So if I simplify down the numerator, I get negative, negative. I'll get positive 4. Underneath the square root, I'll get negative 4 squared, which is 16, 
minus negative 4 and 2 is negative 8, negative 8 and 7 is 56, negative 56 all over 4. And in this case, we get negative 4, excuse me, 4 plus or minus the square root of negative. Well, 16 minus 56 is going to be negative 40 over 4. And, you know, you could be solving quadratic equations where you're allowed to use complex numbers. Typically, in an algebra class, um, people will want real number solutions. And there's no number that, um, if you, you, there's no real number that you can take the square root of it or square it rather and get negative 40. So there's not a solution. We can't take square roots of negative numbers. And what that means is if you get a negative number underneath the radical, it means that there's no solutions to the original equation. Okay. Again, there are solutions using complex numbers, um, but we are absolutely not using complex numbers here. Okay, so basic illustration of knowing the quadratic formula, kind of a tedious formula to have memorized, but certainly one that will come in useful over and over and over again. So, all right, I hope these examples make some sense. If not, shoot me an email, and I will try to make sense out of it.